In this video guys, I'm going to show you how you can boost your FPS in any game on your any PC build. And guys, welcome to my channel and if this is your first time here, so please make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification, leave a like on this video. So guys, let's go straight into this video. So guys, first of all, in this video, we are going to use a boost pack, name is the Ultimate FPS Boost Pack 2022. And by using this boost pack, you can optimize your registry files, your CPU, your GPU, your network, and also more most important your gpu settings and your cpu settings so guys how to download this pack on your pc it is really simple you need to simply open the link from descriptions which is available in the descriptions of my this video or you can simply search up to packs.com and it will bring you here onto this website once you are here guys here you will find out this first article which is the ultimate fps boost for gaming or you can simply scroll all the way down and here you will find out the recent post or you can simply search into the search bar for this article like the ultimate fps boost for the gaming and once you search you will find out this post you need to simply click on this post it will take you on to the next page scroll down click on this download button and download this uh, pack on your computer from the google drive click on this download and download this ultimate fps boost pack so here i already got one on my desktop so how to use it you need to simply right click here and extract it here and you will got this folder on your desktop you need to open up this folder here is a bunch of files first is the create a register point and this is also the most important thing guys if something you want to change back so you can easily revert it back so how to create a register point simply open up this first folder double click here you will go to this system properties window go into this configurations option turn on system protection and set the max usage onto the four percent i hit apply and click ok now go for this create option and you type here any title like i'm typing here boost pack click on this create button and this will create this restore point on your computer so guys once after creating the restore point on your computer now let's go for our next step which is optimizing the power option so open up the second folder and guys here is two file first is the power options you need to open up this application and you will go to this window and guys here you will find out this option into this hide additional plans which is the high performance and guys if you want to create a bit some high performance power plan so guys you can simply click here on this create a power plan option and then you need to follow exactly every settings which i'm gonna show you now go into the change advanced power settings and from here guys follow the settings first of all go into this hard drive or hard disk option turn off hard disk after zero second now you need to scroll down here is the processor power management click on this plus icon and guys you need to follow every single settings which i'm showing you here you need to change all the settings or simply guys if you want to create this power plan automatically on your computer because it is a little hard to create it manually so guys simply open the website and you need to go into the search bar and search for an application which is the park control and press enter from your keyboard you will go to this window or this article you need to click on this First article, scroll down, click on this download button and download this Spark Control on your computer. After downloading this, simply install it and you will go to this kind of interface of the software on your PC. You need to simply click on this drop down menu, select the bits and high performance and disable all of these options. Then also check my here on all of these boxes, hit apply and click OK. And the software guys will uh, keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC and also the power plan option will guys automatically create here into this list then simply select out this bit some high performance and guys now close out this window go for this power tweaks.reg file double click here click yes click yes again and click ok and install this file now go back into the main directory of our boost pack and here is the command tweaks open up this folder here is guys two cmd file and one bad file so simply double click here and this will guys disable all of the useless activity from your computer so now let's go for our next file which is the important tweaks.bad file simply double click here this will disable the power feature on the us and the ethernet and which will increase the performance of your computer this will guys take some time and here guys you are getting some error so you need to simply close out it and here the optimization for your ethernet simply minimize this window and this will uh, keep running in your background for a little time so here it's complete and this will close out this window automatically now you need to go back into the main directory of our boost pack go for the graphics card tweaks and here is guys two folder first is the amd and second is the nvidia so guys use it according to your pc build like for example i have the nvidia gpu i just show you 
I am when here is my Nvidia control panel. So you need to open up the Nvidia folder and here is the Nvidia.rg file. Double click here, click yes, click yes again, click OK, and this will automatically optimize all of the best settings for your Nvidia GPU. Once you're done, now you need to go back into the main directory of this boost pack and next option which is the RAM optimization. Open up this folder. Here is guys bunch of RDG file, registry files. You need to install this file according to your uh, RAM size. I have the 16 GB of the RAM. So how to check it? You need to go into your search, search for this PC, then go into the properties. And here you will find out the installed RAM size. And this is around 6 GB. Now close out this window and install the RDG file according to your RAM size. Now click yes and click OK. Once you're done, now go back. Go for this next folder which is the gaming optimization registry tweaks and guys here is bunch of registry file first here is the disable uh, the driver searching automatically simply double click here click yes install this registry file go for the disable file history service this is completely useless for you click yes click ok here they disable the maintenance guys it is on you but guys if you disable it you, you will get insane amount of uh, performance increase on your computer here is the disable power throttling this is the most important if you are getting the stutters and the low fps or the fps drops issue on your computer while you're playing game so this registry file will fix it now click ok here is the disable windows telemetry click yes click ok click ok again now go for the disable uh, the energy estimation click yes click ok disable the energy logging click yes click ok here is the high priority for all of your uh, programs so simply click yes and this will guys set all of your programs and your game for the high priority of the window next here is the keyboard and the low latency this will reduce your input delay of your mouse and the keyboard so you need to simply double click here and install this keyboard file then go for the low latency click yes install it go for the uh, main maintain the low latency .rg file click yes Go for this max fps rg file and install this file and here is our last file which is the mouse data queue and this will reduce the input delay of your mouse so guys once you install all of the registry gaming optimizations files on your computer so guys here we're done now you need to go back into the previous or the main directory and here is the clean junk file now double click here and now guys all the optimization which we have done or all the previous files which you have on your computer now it's time to guys deleting all of that junk file from your computer so how to do it you need to simply open up this disk cleanup option click on the c drive click ok you will go to this kind of window you need to select all of these boxes including the directed shadow cache click on this ok button and delete all of these files it will guys take some time to cleaning all of these temporary files click continue and guys here we're done it will guys keep running in your background now close out over this boost pack and now i'm going to show you some more settings for your computer to increasing the performance so you need to simply go into the directory where you install your fortnite your valorant your csgo or the apex legend or whatever game or the whatever program guys you are using you need to go into that directory like for example i'm going into the valorant so here is the valorant live and here is my exe file for the valorant so you need to go into the properties of your this file go for the compatibility and check for the disable full screen optimization go for the change high dpi and also check mark here now click ok hit apply and click ok again and guys here we are done once you're done now you need to simply close out this window and now go into the window search and search for this pc open up this window and guys now you need to select out the drive where you have installed your games so you need to go now right click here go for this tool section and guys here is the option for the optimize you need to click on the optimize button and guys here is my c drive d drive and the e drive i suggest you to guys run this uh, optimization for all of your drives like this is my c drive click on this optimize and guys here we're done now go for your d drive also click on this optimize and guys it is again running on your computer guys you now need to keep it running in your uh this d drive once it's done now go for your a drive and guys once it's done completely then simply close out this window and now just simply one time guys restart your pc because all of the registry changes which we have done on our computer that will take effect after this restart so guys now restart computer then launch your fortnite valorant or whatever game you want to play and guys enjoy the best performance out of your pc so guys please make sure to subscribe 
drop a like on this video and share your opinion about this optimization in the comment sections. So till at the next video, peace out.